All right, all right, all right. The end of another day, and it was a pretty good day uh, today. Let's see, where, where are we at? We'll take a look at the uh, 15 minutes, see if we can identify where we took that trade. Uh, we can't really on the 15. So let's drop her back. I think we took it in like a five minute. Uh, we could probably see it in the two. Man, it's hot, hot, hot. Life on a boat. So we were trading. We were trading in this channel for um, most of the morning. And uh, the beauty of the channel is it's a very tight channel. Whenever you get a very tight channel like that, it makes it pretty easy to uh, break out and, and you should get a really nice uh, breakout. So um, anyway, we, we took a couple of trades trying to anticipate the move. Um, got a one off and then got a two off. And if you trade with me, you'll understand what that means. I trade in three units, so I take my first unit off and at one off and my second unit off and then I let my third one run. So, um, um, and then I think we got hurt a little bit on um, one, lost like maybe 30 cents a contract or something, really nothing to, um, to cry about. But uh, the one off and two off made us very profitable. And then lo and behold, um, through patience, we got this break right here and we took the break and I believe it was around 87. Actually, the break is right at this high. Um, so we took the break at uh, 89.95. And then uh, it proceeded to just do this uh, beautiful run up. Um, and I believe that uh, I got out around 90, around 399, 400. So I left uh, this on the table, but I'm happy with that. Um, I can't argue. I mean, based on my rules, I might have picked up another two or three points if I didn't just pull the plug. Um, and then I obviously didn't trade this afternoon because it's Friday and it's gorgeous. And I went uh, kayaking. Um, but uh, that it was a pretty good day. It was a, a, a good day. It's been a really good month for uh, a July. We've made a lot of money together, and uh, the free folk uh, come on and tell me about the money they're making, and they're all doing very well. Um, and um, so here we are on the daily, and we have this strong bar with this high, but we have this really uncomfortable divergence here. So that's uh, making me uh, a little nervous. I mean, the market's moving up, and we're not uh, going to argue about it. We're going to let it do what it's got to do. I'm just being very cautious and, and watching this, <laughs> excuse me, and, and kind of waiting on this uh, di divergence. Um, and then, um, really, we'll, we'll look at the weekly, and the weekly, too, is showing a divergence, but this is a very strong engulfing bar for last week, so I don't know. Um, I mean, the divergence doesn't necessarily have to mean it's a turnaround. could mean that we're moving into a consolidation, which I wouldn't mind that. You, you know, you can do income trading and, and, uh, and take a consolidation and, and um, get, you know, make a lot of money. And I'd like to see us settle into that for the rest of uh, the summer. Um, a, a nice uh, consolidation in here, build a good foundation, and then for the fall we could start a nice move up. And that's not entirely uh, impossible. I know a lot of the pros are calling for a volatile market, but yet, you know it, it, it's not impossible that we just move into a consolidation. Um, so we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. And let's see, let's go through the other uh, goodies that we like to look at. So that's the S&P, I like to start out with that. Let's take a quick look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and you know what? I'm going to uh, make one chart um, my weekly, and we'll leave the other my 60-minute. So on a weekly, I mean, it's just negative. Um, the, 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 the momentum uh, is uh, bearish, but it looks like it's rolling out over. Um, I would give it a neutral momentum on the daily. So I'm going to say I'm neutral to bearish with this. Um, again, we're still looking at uh, about that 41 range. Well, that 41 range would be um, an ultimate high. But if, if you're looking to go long this next week sometime, you could look for, come on, You could look for a break of this 36, uh, 600 area. Um, but if, as far as long term goes, um, I would say that uh, my bias would be bearish on this. Um, the composite's going to look like the S&P. Um, and it does. You, you've got that daily divergence down here. Um, it looks like the weekly might be rolling around. I mean, you could still argue a divergence right here. 
you, you know, with that being a high. But you have this um, bullish engulfing for the day um, or for the week. So um, we may very well break out next week. Oh, we can get an inside bar, and that's probably what's going to happen. We have the feds at the end of the week, so we'll probably have an inside bar and then consolidate, and then uh, the move will come at the end of the week. Uh, that's really what I anticipate for all of the markets. Uh, as far as the Dow goes, yeah, pretty much uh, going to be the same argument. Just take a little longer. Come on, open up. There you go. Um, so I wouldn't really argue that's engulfing, but that's more of a hammer. Um, although a genuine hammer would be in a down move, but that's a very uh, bullish bar on the weekly. The uh, weekly momentum looks like it might be leveling out right here, so that would put us neutral on the weeklies. And then the um, the dailies are bullish, mainly because we're making this higher low, but we'd have to break that high to really call it bullish. Um, and, and you could see that same divergence going on right here on the two highs. So you got to just watch that. So... Yeah, you know, we could be neutral to bullish on uh, on the Dow. Um, so uh, let's take a quick peek at uh, bonds. And these are the bond interest rates. Um, very bearish on the weekly. So that would uh, um, imply that the interest rates uh, would move down, which means that the bonds uh, should move up. Um, all very contrary to what's going on uh, in, in the world, uh, which is interesting. That's something to really watch. Um, but we'll play what the market gives us, uh, and, and that's what the market's showing. So um, I am short bonds. I'm still convinced. Um, you can see a deviation on uh, a divergence, rather. I, I know I do that quite often. Um, you can see a daily divergence right here. So... Um, So that should uh, indicate that interest rates uh, should rise on on the short term. So I'm just going to have to say I'm bullish since this it's so conflicting. It looks like it, things are just turning around. I, I mean, I'd have to say I'm neutral since uh, both charts are uh, conflicting. Um, but I'd look for that uh, that 2054 break, and this is just the uh, index, the uh, um, interest index. Um, and if it, we get that 2054 break, then uh, interest rates will start rising, bonds will start dropping. Um, NVIDIA, for one of my free folk, Wyatt, my bold trader. Um, I don't even know if he still needs this thing, but uh, I mean, this is still, I wouldn't argue that this is a low. I'd say this is one move and... Um, this is still a higher low, so it's still bullish, uh, unless this turns around um, and makes a lower high. We need another day or so to kind of figure that move out right there. Um, on the weekly, it's bullish. I mean, get you know, a little consolidation, nothing wrong with that. Nice bar up, probably get another bar up uh, next week. And uh, last but not least, for all you stock junkies, um, we have the daily, which... Uh, I gotta say I'm neutral at this point. I'm I'm going bearish if it breaks uh, this. Um, if it breaks that 31.15, I'd definitely be bearish on this boy, bad boy. As far as a weekly goes, it, it it's I'd have to say neutral. Um, you, you know, looking at the weekly, I would have to say that we're heading for that 26.35. But um, I certainly wouldn't make the move until it breaks this um, 31.15. Um, again, if you want to see something positive. Well, I guess you could find an entry right here um, if you wanted to go long at the uh, 46.55 and then um, look for another entry long at the uh, at the 64.96. I mean, it's got to break all of that uh, in order to um, break the highs again. So, I mean, you may get that one amazing day where you get that one super bar up and um, that would definitely be encouraging. But. Um, it's certainly not the way I'm playing any stocks. Um, all right, so it's hot, 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 and that's the end of the week, and we uh, had a good week. We made some money. Um, I think we closed out. We either didn't trade a, a day or or made money 
um, on the days we did trade. I don't think we had any down days this week. So that, that's a good start. But um, if you're new to the channel, check me out at 9 o'clock. That's when we start streaming. Hit the uh, subscribe and hit the bell, and you'll know when we're up and running. And uh, hit the like because it goes a long way in help promoting my trading. And uh, it's the weekend, so uh, hit the road.